Jared, thanks. With many in our region still feeling the impact of Helene, it was a question whether the Cranberry Festival in Shady Valley would go on as planned this year. News Channel 11's Maddie Cottespotti reports on its triumphant return and what it means to the community. The Cranberry Festival is an annual tradition in Shady Valley, but this year questions arose as to whether or not the festival would go on. We've had a lot of people ask us, you know, because they were really concerned. Parts of our county has just been demolished. I mean, it's really heartbreaking. But the festival went on as a reprieve from the hard work of rebuilding after the devastation of Hurricane Helene. The people in our community, we have worked in ways to help other people in community. I mean, we have worked constantly, so it's sort of a way for people to have a break. Vendors at the festival say the need for the festival was even greater this year. Mentally, I mean, it, it helps to take your mind off of it. I know a lot of people have been volunteering, spending a lot of time volunteering and helping others in the community. Just to be able to get with the community and see all these vendors and be in community with people. In this time of continued recovery, it's events like this that remind everyone the importance of community community is a family so that way we can be a blessing to other people community like I said it's blessing I think it can help um, not only to boost these small businesses and the people these are still people that live here and these some of these people were affected and so it can help them financially um, and get like again kind of get a sense of normalcy back the kids need to have fun people need to have fun people need to like have time with family and stuff here in Shady Valley Maddie Cottespotti News Channel 11.